Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blogger and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a 3D looking text effect like this in GIMP. Now, creating this kind of effect is actually super easy in GIMP and you can use this 3D text effect while creating YouTube thumbnails for your videos. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can create this effect. Now, first of all, what I would like to do is I would like to create a new image with a transparent background. So let me just go to file and click on new and let the width and height be 1280 and 720. Click on advanced options and select transparency inside fill width and click on OK. Now, the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to fill my transparent image with this particular color. So let me just select foreground color and let me just change the color from black to, to this shade of orange and the note, HTML notation for that particular color is FF9F00 and click on OK. Now let me just go to edit and click fill with foreground color. That's it. Now. Let me just write some text on top of my image. So select the text tool from the toolbox and mark your text object on top of your image. Now let me just write some text. So let me write GIMP and uh, let me change the font to Nirmala UI bold. And let me increase the font size from 30 pixels to 300 pixels. And let me just change the font color to, to this particular color which I have selected. So the HTML notation is 420F9C and click on OK. Perfect. Now what I would also like to do is I would like to make my text italic. So let me just select italic right here and this would make my text italic. All right. Now the next thing which I need to do to create my 3D text effect is click on the text layer right here. Right click on the text layer and select this option alpha to selection. Now click on this option right here which says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. So this will create a new duplicate text layer from the original text layer. Now click on this new duplicate text layer which you just created like this and then go to select and click on grow. So we will be growing our selection by let's say 5 pixels. So write 5 inside the text box and click on OK. Now let me just, as you can see in my background color white is already selected. So let me just go to edit and select fill with background color. Now let me just drag my duplicate text layer below my original text layer like this. And now go to select and click on none. All right. Now let me just click on my original text layer which is at the top and let me just right click and select merge down. Perfect. Now let me just click on the duplicate text layer which I created previously and uh, now go to filters, go to light and shadow and select long shadow. Now change the color inside the long shadow dialog to to this shade of blue which we which we have selected for our text so the html notation is 420f9c and click on okay so as you can see our 3d text effect is now beginning to take shape slowly and um, what I would like to do is I would like to decrease the length currently the length is 100 so let me just decrease the length to 50 and uh, and again what 
I would like to do next is you can try a couple of different things. So inside style currently finite is selected. So if I just change the style from finite to infinite, you will see something like this on the screen. Again, if I just change the style from infinite to fading, you will see a different, a different style around your text. And if I just change the style from fading to fading fixed length, you will again see a different style around your text. So I want to select finite only and, uh, and the angle is 45 degrees, which is all right for me. Length is 50. So I decrease the length from 100 to 50. I've already selected the color. Again, in the composition, you get a couple of options. So this is shadow plus image. This is shadow only. And this is shadow minus image. So I want to select shadow plus image. And now simply click on OK. Perfect. Now one final thing which is left to be done is let me just use the move tool to center align my text a little bit like this. And one final thing which is left to be done is to rotate the image to rotate the text slightly. So let me just go to tools. Let me just go to transform tools and select rotate. And let me just rotate my text slightly. So I'm rotating my text at a minus 10 degree angle and click on rotate. Perfect. So this is how you can create a 3D text effect in GIMP. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.